Hello everyone, welcome back to JLEG 3D. So today I have a follow-up video to my coil tutorial. Uh, due to a user mentioning in the comments that I could have done something else and I wanted to bring that up because I did talk in the comments about that, but I wanted to show also the possibilities of what can go with that. And one thing I discovered also, actually two things I discovered, but the one thing I discovered is that this uh, sweep was actually misaligned. So make sure you follow that uh, the end, at the end of the tutorial where I sweep correctly on the square body and I align tool. So if you would go to uh, when you're in the modeling and you want to align it, you go transform, align, you choose the body and then next and then choose these faces. So these are hidden right now, but basically that face and this face, you would have to align them. So that's for that. And then you could have unioned it technically. But one uh, like i said the other thing that was mentioned is that you could have used revolve here and i didn't do that first of all because as you can see these bodies slightly collide into each other and typically i i made a lot of threads in shaper before custom threads and that's an issue when the bodies collide let me show you why first of all let's delete the linear pattern and then go to tools revolve because we technically already have drawn up the sketch from the last design right so tools revolve then you select the Thing you want to revolve or the sketch and use the axis in this case the z-axis and go up here we had by one millimeter right so as you can see it says operation failed because the resulting body wouldn't be valid so this is the issue that typically comes up when you're making threads because the body collides into each other and it can't do it so if you go to 1.1 however and the bodies no longer collide here see these edges do not meet or crash into each other uh, then it's fine and one workaround uh, around this before was if you go for example 358 de uh, degrees and go back to one you can see now it works because you've lowered the revolution so this is a workaround for those who are wondering but i don't know if it's any longer necessary because guess what if we go 360 degrees it says no but let's let's adjust it first of all to 1.4 go through um, 360 degrees now it goes back to normal like I said it doesn't do it when you go down there but if you're over here and you make this into let's say 500 it now creates additional body lines which I don't remember ever happening before so either this is an update or I sorely missed it somehow because this would have made my life so much easier so as you can see now even we have the even though we have this collision it creates new body edges or body lines whatever you want to call it and the revolution goes on through so i'm assuming that now it basically subtracts the body instead of making that collision so that there's no intersecting pieces so once you click this technically let's say you click done right and if you move this, I expect the bottom to be rounded just like so or not to be able to move at all. And as you can see, it moves the whole body, meaning that this revolution is connected at this joint here and is no longer separate like you would have with a normal revolution. So this is actually really great news for people who want to make threads. This is going to be making our life way easier. But the main reason I came to show here is that now, yes, you could have also, instead of using the sweep tool like we did before, by selecting this and then sweeping, right? You could now just do the tools revolve, excuse me, revolve and then go around the axis and go all the way up simply by going, let's say 10 millimeters because that's how tall we were. And let's add revolutions. Let's do 3600 for start and for this one as you can see it even added the, the line here because this is like a perfect connection at the top so this is amazing and this will make our lives easier and this kind of gives me a hint that the thread tool is coming because otherwise it would not have worked in my opinion so i'm excited guys uh that's gonna make my life even easier and it's gonna make modeling threads way way easier so look forward to that guys i'm pretty sure it's coming soon based on this uh so hope you guys learned something today as well i did uh and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye here at jlake 3d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects please support our work so that we can keep doing it don't forget to like share and subscribe to see more